today I am here to talk about a topic that I see online quite frequently, and that is beard conditioner and conditioning butters. What's the difference? Do they do the same thing? Do I need one? Do I need the other? I don't know. Well, here we go. Please like and subscribe. If you can take a second and hit that subscribe button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Did you do it? All right, good. I hope you did. If you didn't, it's all good. So, conditioner. What is a conditioner? What is actually a conditioner and what is actually a conditioning butter? So, for starters, one way to know that you're dealing with an actual conditioner, whether it be a leave-in or a rinse conditioner, besides the conditioners that you know you DIY at home that you can only um, use for about a day before it goes bad, whole different conversation. But for these, good way to tell is what it looks like. This is a cream base. This is not a balm or butter base, although butters are present in here. This is a cream base. That's one way of telling, but that's not the only way. Another very, very important factor in our conditioner and what makes our conditioner a key and vital component to the process is it having water in its base and even better, aloe vera. They're both important. Water, aloe vera juice. There's also presence of herb extracts like chamomile. Very, 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 very important. In most cases, you will not find water present in a conditioning butter, aka beard butter. Beard butters and conditioning butters are pure butter based and they're a mixture of various butters and oils alone. However, a conditioner in its traditional sense has all of the above. There's usually butters present like shea butters, not all the time. There's of course oils present and there's water present. Now, conditioner, the reason why it's able to handle all three is because the ingredients get emulsified to the point where they don't separate because as you know, oil and water don't mix. So if you try to just blend some water into a a uh, beard butter over time, eventually it's going to separate or it's going to go bad. So conditioners have been emulsified to the point where all of the ingredients stay interlocked into that cream base. Now, why would you need a conditioner? I would say over a conditioning butter, and this isn't to knock the butter, this is just to understand the difference that the water and the aloe vera juice that's present in this, along with its other ingredients, play a important part in the softening and the slip that gets added to your beard when you're detangling. Number one, especially to my fellas with the coarse and coily beards, that's gonna help out a lot, a lot more than an oil can alone or a butter can alone. It's gonna help you detangle your beard easier without tearing your beard up or that comb getting stuck. For some of us like myself, you still may have to work through it a little slow or a little patient, but it's gonna be significantly easier. Two, it's gonna add that added moisture into your beard that's gonna keep it soft. It's gonna make it soft and keep it soft longer. Now, if you wanna know the difference, try using a leave-in conditioner in conjunction with your routine, your oil, balm, or butter, and then try using Try running your routine without the leave-in conditioner and you'll see the difference in the softness. That's something that is unique to most leave-in conditioners, especially if they have the water in the base. And of course, it varies depending on the other elements in the product. So I can't speak for all conditioners because not all conditioners are made equal. Now, a conditioning butter in most cases, and I add that asterisk because I can't speak for them all, or it's usually another term for beard butter that helps condition the beard, although it's not a conditioner. Now, like I said, conditioning butters in many cases don't have that water component, which make them pretty much the same as a beard butter, which is in the same family as a beard balm minus the wax. So it's primarily oil and butter based. It is missing the component of water, which means that it is very important that you add that moisture prior to your process. 
You want you're going to want to do that anyway, no matter what. But again, you put butter on a dry beard, there's going to be absolutely no moisturization happening to your beard, guaranteed. And that's something that you got to understand. You got to keep the terms in the proper context. Moisture is a derivative of water. And if you have a product that is absent of water, it's not going to add moisture to your beard. It's going to be a buttery, greasy beard, which may or may not look good. It just all depends. But if you add water to your beard, whether it be in your shower or after, if you spray it up, rinse your beard down and you add your butter to your beard afterwards, you'll be great. And I know a lot of guys that swear by butters. I know a lot of guys that only use butters and nothing else. So butters are fantastic. And in no way is this meant to bash butters. It's just meant to help clarify in most cases what the conditioning butters are. They do help condition the beer by locking in that added moisture that you added longer it locks it in longer and it may help that uh those oil elements travel down the hair shaft and do their job but it's still not the same as a actual leave-in conditioner and in many cases it won't create that same soft effect that a good leave-in conditioner will so it's not that one is better than the other. It's just they're different. Apple, orange. And it's important to know the difference if you're in search for a conditioner to find a conditioner. If you're in search for a leave-in conditioner to find a leave-in conditioner. And if you're in search for a butter to find a butter. And always ask. Because again, this is a general statement. This isn't covering across the board. So if you see a company that has a conditioning butter, do the research and find out if it'll in fact do the job, you know, because if it proves what I'm saying wrong, perfect. And I'm glad that you found a product that can do it. But in most cases, that's the difference. And many times it comes down to the single element of H2O. So that is it. That's it in a nutshell. Um, of course, Products do get a lot more complex, but in general, it's good to understand the difference because a lot of terms get thrown out there and thrown across labels, but it's important to know the root of the product and how it's meant to serve your beard. So that is it. This is Jacob with Nature Boy Products. Please look us up. Look me up on Instagram at Nature Boy IG. I'm very active on there. I'm always answering questions. Please follow. Please like. Please subscribe. And that is all. Signing off.